ask the expert, what's in your wallet? Well, it depends on how old you are. A new study shows more than 60% of millennials are not carrying a single credit card. Nick Fultz from WealthWisconsin.com joining us live this afternoon. So what are we talking about when we say millennials? So what's the age range? Here? We're, look we're looking at individuals who are under the age of 30 okay. at that point. Okay, so they're not using credit cards. It's not cards. us. <laughs> Hey, speak for yourself. <laughs> what, I mean, is this, you're just carrying around cash? Is that? Yeah, oddly enough, as strange as it may sound, a lot of individuals that are millennials are actually just carrying around cash today. But they also have a different type of card. They're accessing a debit card, or they might be using a prepaid card that they can reload or link directly to their bank accounts. Why do they so, skip the credit card? What is it about the? Is it the, the idea of the debt they don't like? You're hitting it right on the head. Millennials are far more aware of their student loan debt, mm -hmm. and they have a fear of compiling credit card debt on top of that. And so they stay away from utilizing the credit cards, which seems wise to us, but the reality is credit cards play a significant role in building our credit history, building our credit scores, come into play when we want to get a home loan or a school loan or a... Uh, car loan. Mm -hmm. Even you know, your credit score can come into play for trying to get a job. Yeah, you do need a credit history. So how do you use cards responsibly to, to, to set up a credit history? Well, I think it's about a mind shift. A lot of individuals have to make sure that they're looking at credit cards more as a credit building tool than it is an, uh, there to pay off something. That, hey, I can buy whatever I want. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to buy it now and, and worry about it later. That's not what it's there for. But being responsible really means you're keeping track of when are my payments due because one missed payment can have a dramatic effect on your credit score. Last 30 seconds here. What do you say to somebody who finds himself under a mountain of credit card debt? I mean, where do they start digging? Well, start with just getting a game plan in place. You're going to want to make sure that you start with the lowest credit card debt that you have, pay that off as quickly as possible, and then go after the next hot, uh, the next lowest credit card debt. If you need a tool to track your debt, we have some great resources on our website, wealthwisconsin.com. We're happy to help. Perfect topic as we start rolling into Christmas. Yes. 